Hello my ninjas, this is Sun. So this is the Christmas makeup look that I came up with in my get ready with me. I'm going to do like a get ready with me story time, like a very odd story time today. So yeah, if you want to see how I make this look, then keep on watching. Well, let's just get started with everything and I'm kind of going to do a story time as well. I don't have a lot going on in my life because like my life usually is not very exciting. It happened when I was younger, probably five years ago, and um, it's just the weirdest thing that happened to me in public. Not really happened to me, but like me and my group of friends. BB Cushion. This is in the number 23 by Holika Holika. First, I'm going to start off with putting lip balm on. This is the Glossier Balm.com. I included this in my Black Friday haul. It's not that interesting of a story, but I guess like. Not very many things are interesting in my life. Story begins. I'm with two friends, I believe. I'm with my brother at the time, and I was with my ex, and we were at the mall. And suddenly, there's this weird I mean, I encounter weird people a lot, like out in the streets and stuff, but they usually don't follow you, you know? So it's just really weird. He just, he just starts like looking at us really weird. I feel like there's something wrong with him and I don't want to like say anything because maybe he's um, like maybe something's wrong with him somehow so we didn't want to say anything or like be rude so we kind of just kept on walking while the person sort of followed us and suddenly the person just starts like keeps following us and then my ex goes sir can I help you he was like sir can I help you like do you have a problem and he doesn't say anything Maybelline age rewind because that's just what I have here right now. This is really good. I've used this for so long as a concealer. Person was just keeps on following us and I've never had that happen. It was kind of creepy in a way and we didn't know this person. If he's like um, disabled or something, we didn't want to say anything. We didn't want to do anything. While I was in a store, I was just kind of like doing my own thing just like looking at clothes or whatever and then they told me to leave and they're like son we have to get out and I was like no why I don't want to get out and they're like no we have to get out like we have to go I was like okay fine so we left I'm going to do my eyebrows like just a tad bit darker today you know sometimes it's really hard to do makeup and talk at the same time so so I'm like focusing at the same time. They told me to leave the store and I did. That's when I actually realized that there was this person following us. Also, it's weird because he's not saying anything and he's just kind of following us. We left the store and we thought that this person maybe was like lost or something. Maybe he wasn't following us. So then we went into another store and this person, like we saw him again. He started walking faster towards us. It was so weird. He started walking faster towards us. So then we started running, booked it away from him. And like we left the building, like the mall building to go in through another entrance. And we kind of lost sight of him and he probably lost sight of us. And then what we did, we had to like report it to the, um, the mall police. It'll be okay then if we see him again, hopefully we don't like he doesn't start following us again and we see him again and we just kind of like turn away didn't really follow us anymore either he didn't see us or it was just I don't know it was just weird it was just a weird experience my brother was probably 10 at that time he was like let me just like fight him let me like hit him or something like that that's where his protective side comes in i'm gonna put this lipstick on it is the color avenue by ColourPop. this one's actually pretty popular i feel like i always use a lip brush for more precision there you go I put on top the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the color Furry just because it has like this shimmer, very holiday style look to it and I love that. It's like a magenta color but the way it shines, it just reminds me of Christmas. The light doesn't really do it justice but it's really pretty color. Blush first, Cloud Paint by Glossier. This is in the color Beam, like a dot of it. I'm gonna tap it like this and tap it on my cheeks. The pigment is not like very noticeable, very um, pigmented, so blend it out with my fingers too. This is why I love cream blushes. And always put cream on before putting any powder on it because if you put a cream over a powder, it's just going to 
mess up everything. Alkaline Glowing Palette. First color, Stardust. Tap it in like this. I light on here. Face glow a little bit more. Etude House Play 101 Stick. The white side to highlight the bridge of my nose. Just kind of a line highlight down here. A little bit on my cupid's bow. Like that. You're gonna hear the heater. So if you hear the heater, please just ignore it. To move on to my eyes, I know you see I have lashes right now because I have extensions on. Lash extensions. Inferno palette by Bad Habit. Start off with a white color as a base because I want to put a shimmer color for my lids. So I'm going to start off with the color white hot. Also like I can I'm doing this like all over. Then put it on your inner corner too. I don't usually do story times often. A lot of people always have like stories to talk about and I'm over here like I... Yeah, nothing big happens in my life. So I'm going to use ColourPop's Porter. I'm using a brush here. And sort of just tap it on the edge and then blend it towards your crease. I'm using the viewfinder right now so it's not the best. Take like a flat brush. And then with the same color, put it underneath, just brush it underneath. Using the color Blaze here from that same palette. Put it kind of like a blending color between the two because I've tried putting this color like all over before and then it defeats the purpose of like this, um, this gradient. Put it where your crease is too to define your crease. White color again to blend everything together like on top here. See how everything seems like there's a harsh line? So I just use the base color, whatever base color you use, and just blend it all together. So lightly put on eyeliner, McQueen New York Brown Eyeliner. Since I have these um, extensions, um, eyelash extensions, it already makes my eyes look very big and full so that's why usually I don't even have to wear eyeliner but I put on eyeliner so it extends my eyes out a little bit more so here is the look um, all I did is I put in contacts and then I also put on earrings these contacts are the G&G &G GBT sky blue um, very pretty color and it just makes my whole look Pop. Last thing I'm going to also add is a little bit of gloss on my lids. I just, I'm in love with glossy lids lately. A little bit because I feel like it goes a long way. So just put it right there. Just gives it a little bit more shine. Um, if you put too much on, it's going to blend out your color because since your color is a powder and what you're putting on top is a gloss or kind of like a cream finish, it's going to blend out that color and you don't want that you don't want to ruin your color the whole finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy my talk through my mini story that was really weird and very odd i'm not the best at telling stories but if you guys want another story time type of get ready with me just let me know normally my get ready with me's are like answering your guys's questions if you guys want that more i can do that more instead but yeah just let me know i hope you guys enjoyed this holiday christmas makeup Christmas. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.